Here at McWhorter Rifles, we've always been known for making the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. So we decided to start the McWhorter Rifles True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents Well, that's a thousand and two yards on a windy, cloudy day. Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to talk about the McWhorter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. If you want to learn how to make shots like that, stay tuned. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Swarovski Optic, Hornady Ammunition, and Borden Accuracy. Here at McWhorter Rifles, we've always been known for making the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. But you can have the most accurate hunting rifle in the world, and if you don't know how to get it steady and quickly in the field, and then overcome environmental and earthbound changes in the different hunting scenarios that you encounter, it's not going to do you much good at all. So after talking to a lot of our customers, we just realized that most of them did not know how to shoot long range, so we decided to start the McWhorter Rifles True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. <laughs> I've been hunting and shooting my whole life. I've been long range trained. Uh, I know the stuff. I'm not a very good teacher. So Keith Hall is former military uh, shooting instructor. He knows pretty much everything about long range shooting. He's a, a, a great teacher. He spends a lot of time with our students. So we chose him to be uh, the head of our instruction at our long range hunting and shooting school. Our long range shooting school is the complete experience. We feed you, we educate you, we train you, and then we let you shoot. Uh, you come in on a, on a Friday evening, you get a uh, full dinner, we go over what's going to happen the next couple of days, breakfast the next morning, and then straight into class. Half day of class, half day on our heated and cool shooting pavilion. We provide our tag driving 6.5 Creedmoor school guns, uh, suppressed so that communication is very easy. Everybody's got the same ballistic profile and uh, we teach you how to read when internal, external ballistics, uh, where to shoot an animal, and pretty much everything you need to know uh, about long range hunting and shooting. So on this week's show, we invited most all of our pro staffers. All of them are from different walks of life, uh, some of them are outfitters, some of them are hunters, some of them are law enforcement. Uh, all of them had had some shooting experience, but they were fixing to get the real deal. Not only are we going to expand your knowledge base, but we're going to expand your waistline when you're with us because we've got cooks that will just blow you away. The food that they make is going to really entice your taste buds. The first half of the first day, Keith will spend going over 
the terminology and the basics of long range hunting and shooting. Everything that you need to know to get set up for the advanced part of the course will be covered in the first half of the first day. On the afternoon of the first day, you'll be in our heated and cooled shooting pavilion, shooting our 6.5 Creedmoors and our custom ammo, and you'll be hitting steel beyond 500 yards on the very first day. After a long day of learning and shooting on our range, you'll get to settle into our lodge and get a big steak dinner, and then relax, watching TV, talking to the instructor, and just enjoying the company of other fellow hunters and shooters. This segment is brought to you by Board and Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Board and Accuracy equals success. What we're going to be doing is to kind of take you guys from a novice shooter, if that is, your, is the case for you guys. Some people are coming here as novices, some people come here as well experienced but they're either looking to extend their capabilities out, being able to reach out just a little bit further and be eth remain ethical with it. Then you also have the people who are trying to learn the very basics in long range. Most of the guys that I talked to at dinner last night, you guys have some you know, real world experience, made some long range shots. So some of this stuff I'm gonna time to uh, tailor to you guys to where like the specific things that apply to your McWhorter custom rifles. That way you guys get the answers and why do we do put that much care into all of our rifle systems. Overall, it's not just about the long range shooting techniques, but it's also about the projectiles, what we're selecting in order to get that you know, ethical kill on the animal at distance. Um, I don't ever encourage anybody after this course to go out hunting for that thousand yard shot. Um, this is a tool to have in your kit bag to make a calculated ethical shot to make sure that it's gonna be a good one. When you guys come through this course, you're pretty much taking that next step and not just at being able to shoot long range, but being more, knowing exactly where you're putting that bullet so you know you're being 100% ethical. I absolutely do love all a lot of the Hornady projectiles. I've used them for years. I've killed a lot of animals with them. Um, I'm partial to uh, certain projectiles over, the, over others just because of the retained velocity, which I'm gonna discuss why that matters. When it makes that impact, how well it performs opens up some functions and passes on that energy. So I want something that's gonna be a high BC, something that's gonna push through the air, have less drag on it. And then I also want something that's gonna create a lot of hydrodynamic shock. Um, that hydrodynamic shock is coming from the foot pounds, how hard it's actually hitting it, but I want it to be able to open up and pass on all that hydrodynamic shock. Um, I'm looking also with that hydrodynamic shock, and shock, I'm looking at also creating a wound channel that is going to cause rapid blood loss, so that way that there's not oxygen getting into the brain, and that's what actually causes the prey to expire. That's as about as ethical as we can be, and I'll, I'll discuss what actually happens whenever the projectile makes contact, and why you get those bang flops. All right, so now I'm gonna just demonstrate you guys how we're holding for the wind. So this is our target. Wind's coming from the nine o'clock, coming from our left-hand side. We'd normally communicate it as we have a left-hand wind, moving right, so I'm moving right of center of the reticle, and that's what I'll end up holding based on what my ballistic rangefinder gives me for a wind hold, based on what the wind that I saw with the Mirage. Now, if it was the opposite, it was true, and I had a right hand wind moving left, I'm moving the gun right into the wind on the left hand. Now, I'm, I have moved to the left side of my reticle. So that's what I'm holding for the wind on those sides. Parallax, you are taking and putting that reticle on the same focal plane as your target. The human eye, when we sit out and look, we go out here and sit and look at a thousand yards, everything looks clear to us the entire, the entire way out. Whenever you are looking through a scope, you're not actually looking downrange. The scope is creating an image by the way it refracts light, and you're looking at an image that's right here in front of your eyeball. As you adjust that parallax, you're adjusting and putting that on the same focal plane manually, like your eyes automatically do for you, and putting it on the same focal plane as the target itself. I have 
purposely relocated my head just straight back and forth, you know, shooting groups. And you can watch my groups get bigger just because I didn't properly adjust the parallax. Like being on that same focal plane, coming back to that same point, you know, every single time. Well, how do you tell if you're getting, you know, a, if you're truly have all your parallax out? When you go to where the target's clear, that doesn't necessarily mean you're on the same focal plane as the target. Whenever that you're looking through there, you can just do little head shakes as you're moving along and you'll notice that, yeah, the target's clear, but it's still bouncing a little bit and all of a sudden it'll flatline out and it won't move no more. There you know you're on the same focal plane, you can lift your head, come back, and as long as you mount the rifle you know, the same way each time, you're gonna have that same parallax each time. All right, Coriolis, it's a horizontal force. Always present, no matter if you're shooting north, south, east, or west. The reason being is because it's looking at the rotation of the Earth as viewed, above, viewed from the poles themselves. Now, in 1903, the British were ahead of us. They created like all their rifles, the 1903 infield stuff was left-hand twist. They done it on purpose. They knew this stuff back in 1903, because all their fighting was taking place in the Northern Hemisphere. So with that left-hand twist, they were counteracting that Coriolis in the Northern Hemisphere. Coriolis is to the right, and the Northern Hemisphere is to the left in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's all above the North Pole. You kind of have to tilt it a little bit just to kind of you know imagine what's going on. So with the 6.5 Creedmoor, the spin drift on that thing, due to the rotation, it's wind shear that pushes it off to the right. That's 6.7 inches of spin drift. So if there was no wind, no Coriolis, we'd already have to hold almost three quarter minute left in order to hit our intended target. So seven and a half inches. It's 6.7, but it's what we'd be holding. So when you take an add on Coriolis and there are two inches. So now you're at 8.7 inches. So now you're holding just a little bit more than three quarter left in order to hit your intended target. Now, that being said, you know, like two inches doesn't seem like it's not the, the difference between a miss and a hit, but when you combine it with spin drift and then a bad wind call, it combines and then you end up having a, a lot larger error. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Surge Pro by Biofac Crop Care, Ultimate Antler Deer Feed, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, and Mesquite Creek Taxidermy. Day two after a hot lunch, it's back to the shooting pavilion where you're really going to be tested. Everything you learned from the first day and the advanced topics that were covered on the second day are all going to be put to a test. You'll be shooting from the bench, you'll be shooting from a prone position, you'll be shooting from simulated deer stands and tripods outside the front of the shooting pavilion, and you might even end up in a redneck blind before the day's over. All right, welcome back. We're on the second day and this is our second range period. Today we're gonna to start with, you know, building on the learning that we had yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and start them out at 500 because everybody here was shooting excellent yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and start at five, do two engagements per target and push it out to a thousand for those kicker plates. Um, so today, like yesterday we had a lot of rain, but today we've got a lot, of, a lot more mirage. So these guys will start picking up on how important it is to start paying attention to it, but also ways to defeat the mirage in order to see through it and see your target because it does magnify and cloud up your target area some. All right, so with that being said, everybody's already range, you know, ranged their target at 500, they've dialed up. We're gonna start with shooter one, which is Miss Angie, and start putting some targets on, the, or some bullets on target here. Go ahead and send it. All right, 700 is what we're at. Yeah, give me a quarter of right. Perfect. Quarter of right, Brian. Boom, same bullet hole. Ray, go ahead, quarter of right. God, it's horrible. Horrible. Zach, you ready again? Give me a quarter, give me that quarter of right. Hey. All right, we're at what, what distance are we at now? Thousand? Give me a quarter right. And uh, is that go for the right board? Or can you see the left board fine? Yeah, go for that left kicker. Give it a quarter, quarter right edge. All right, Brian, give me a quarter right edge. All right, guys, load up. Let's go down. 
All right, here we are down range at 1,000 yards, and we're at the range day on the second day. Last day we started out at 500 yards and went to 1,000. But first shot at 1,000, wind change and everything, you guys are getting to really see just how crucial that wind reading ability is, and it means everything at distance, as you said yesterday. So like, and this is like your typical hunting condition, so this is what, a lot oh, of yeah. stuff that you encounter, so. Yeah, so. a lot of humidity today, but not a lot of sunlight to read it, yeah. and so we just, you know, we have to we have to trust that wind call and see see how it goes. And both plates went down two shots. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Good job, man. By the end of the day, 500 yards will be a chip shot, and most of our students will be hitting a four-inch plate at a thousand yards. At our McQuarter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, it's one location for everything you do. We've got our five-star lodge, our cooks, our shooting pavilion, our classroom, everything is in one facility. You have access to the instructor the whole time you're there to ask any questions that weren't covered in class, and it's the, it's the experience of a lifetime. You really will be a much better hunter and shooter after you experience this class. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by McWhorter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, Tacticam, Leo Photo USA, Sig Sauer, Trigger Tech, Brux Barrels, and Hawkins Precision. This segment is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, real Texas barbecue. Well, great rifles and great instruction, great shots will become commonplace. Here's a look back at some of our best shots of the year. Oh, man.
If you're interested in our MCR, True Precision, Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, please visit our website for rates and availability.